I'm Maddie with Maddie Sews, and thanks for hanging with me. So, I am super excited to share with you all the tights that I made. These tights! I think they came out so great, you all. I am in love with these. So, let me tell you all about the pattern and the fabric, actually. And so, I've been looking for new fabric suppliers for my spandex, and you all... I ordered some fabric from Green Style Creations, and you know what? I'm sure that some of you all didn't know that they even offered fabric, but they do. And let me tell you, this stuff, it is good. This feels like that high-end type of spandex fabric that you would see out in those high-end stores, you know, with the, the big price tags on their tights it feels like that kind of fabric it really does it is good and it's completely squat proof even this one that's on the white fabric it's just printed onto white it is squat proof you all there is no getting through that and actually it doesn't even shear out that badly either i think this fabric is just so amazing both the dark purple and this watercolor are um, Green Cell Creations Arets brand, which is 80% polyester and 20% spandex. And it has a good 75% stretch, four-way stretch, 100% um, firm stretch if you're really trying to tug at it, which I think is nice because, you know, if you've been eating a little good, <laughs> it's got you covered. And I said that it was squat proof, right? You know, and I only reiterate that because I actually made a pair of tights that weren't squat proof. Um, and they came out so beautifully, matching, sports bra and everything. I'm going to link to it right up here so you can check that out. That'll cue it up to play next if you're interested in watching that. Yeah, so this fabric, it is nice. And it's matte. There's no shine to this fabric. It's just, it's a really good one. I'm going to link to both of these fabrics down in the description box below. The deep purple arete was $17.50 a yard, and it was 58 to 60 inches wide. And then this watercolor one was $23. So I decided to use the more expensive watercolor as the accent piece. So I only picked up one yard of this one, and I got a yard and a half of this purple. The reason why I got more of this purple was because I just knew that I'd be able to do some really fun um, extra projects out of it while using some of the more scrappy bits. The pattern that I used was the Tempo Tights pattern um, and their sizing is actually pretty unique. They do letter sizing so it goes from B through M I believe which basically covers a waist of 22 inches to 56, let me check on that, 22 to 57 inches, and then hips of 32 inches to 62 inches. So they cover a really nice size range there, and um, they make their patterns so that you can grade them pretty easily between the different sizes. The instructions, super easy to follow. This pattern has... Um, a couple of different waistband options. It has a standard, a high, and an ultra high. I made the ultra high. And then I also did the heart waistband in the back. And actually, it's easier if you just take a look at the picture right over here. Um, it does have really nice deep pockets. And actually, the fabric is folded over. Well, it's folded, and then it comes back up. So... There's no escaping it. However, I'll admit that I tend to have sensory issues when the fabric is just kind of folded and comes back up. Um, I, there's just something about the way it feels against my skin as I'm working out that drives me a little nuts. And it's a pretty standard technique. I'm, I mean, I'll tell you, I've seen it in several different pattern makers. Patterns. So I'm going to show you how I go about kind of securing that inside of the pocket so that way it doesn't feel a little funny for me in case you have the same issue. There are really fun color blocking options. So even if you had some like smaller scrappier pieces, you can use it for the calf area, for example, even the front of the waistband. 
And then there are different inseam lengths. This pattern comes in petite, standard, and tall, which is pretty super, actually. I made the standard in the 7 8 length, and it kind of came out looking full length on me. <laughs> so what I'm planning on doing for my next pair of tights is actually, I'm going to go and make the petite version. So that way I don't have to worry about removing some of the length from above my knee, some from below it. Hopefully the petite adjustment just has it all kind of in there already for me. And then I don't, I won't have to worry about my 7 8 length looking full size or full length on me, which isn't really that big of a deal. This pattern is so good. And I honestly think that a confident beginner could put these together. The instructions are very clear and easy to follow. Um, the one thing that I think may trip you up is the actual pocket piece. So let me just show you how I put that together. And by the way, the Temple Tights pattern is 15% off today. Link in the description box. Okay, so first you wanna take that side insert and you wanna find where that double notch is and put it up at the top. Grab your pocket piece and find the notched part. There it is. And we are going to put it so that it is right sides facing each other. Line up those notches and then clip them into place. We're going to have to sew across this edge at a 3 8 seam allowance, so either do it on your sewing machine or your serger. After you've sewn those two pieces together, flip them so that way they are wrong sides facing each other. And then we're going to cover stitch across the top. Now, if you don't have a cover stitch machine, it's not a problem. Just go ahead and secure the stitch using a stretch stitch on your sewing machine. But I'm just going to line up my edges here and I'm going to cover stitch both edges of this pocket. Okay so this is what the nice cover stitching looks like and it's pretty stretchy so I won't have to worry about pop stitches. Now I'm going to take my seam ripper and redo the cover stitching on the other pocket. Okay, and that's what that looks like. It's minimally better. Um, we're going to roll with it, though. I'm not ripping these out again. Okay, so this is what your pieces look like. You have your wrong sides facing each other. Now I need to fold up this pocket piece, and I'm going to fold it at the little corners here. And I'm going to pin it down. Now, I'm going to have to check my pattern pieces and make sure that I haven't accidentally shaved off a bit too much because my pieces aren't quite matching up. Hopefully yours look a little better, but that's okay. I'll just be a little more careful the next time I cut this, well, both of these pieces out. Now baste it with a zigzag stitch on both sides to secure the pocket. Okay, so now that I've basted my pockets together, you can see I have the stitches along the two sides here and down at the bottom there's this fold area. Um, it's that fold that bothers me. You don't see it on this side and so it does leave a really nice clean look on the right side. But for me there's just something about how this pocket fold rubs against my skin. So I'm going to secure this so that way it doesn't flop around or move at all. The way I'm going to do that is I am going to draw a line with my chalk across the bottom edge of that pocket here. I can feel that. So I'll just put my ruler there, draw the line, and then I'm going to cover stitch across that edge of the pocket to make sure that it's secured at the bottom and it won't move. Okay, now I'm back at the cover stitch and I actually did a little starter piece here because I learned my lesson from the pockets. <laughs> And I've drawn my line with the blue chalk and I am just going to continue sewing across that edge, catching 
the bottom pocket edge along this line. And this is what it looks like from the right side. My stitches could be a little better, but I'm not mad at it. And on the wrong side, you can see that I captured that flap, the bottom flap of the pocket down. So the, it is not going to flip up. And if you found that tutorial helpful, don't forget to give me a thumbs up. Let me know in the comments below if you've made the tempo tight or if you have another favorite that you think I should check out. And you all, check out this video right over here to see the last time that I made my patriotic tempo tights. <laughs> they were really fun. And until next time, I sincerely hope that you find joy and have a wonderful day.